During this segment, we will talk about lines and angles. Before we do so, though, let's talk about two basic concepts in geometry, space and plane. Space extends indefinitely in all directions. I'm standing in space. If we want to think of a plane, we can think of this whiteboard except extending indefinitely in all directions. So this is a plane and space is indefinitely in every direction. A plane is flat and extending further than this whiteboard. So there's space and plane. Then the most basic concept of geometry is that concept of a point. The most interesting thing about a point is that a point has no length, no width, no height, just location. Of course, my point does actually have width and length and all of that, but I'm just using it to describe or to show you a point. Actually, a point has location only. So this is point C. We usually use a capital letter to designate a point, or I can just say point. C. Now, now that we know about a point, let's talk about a line. Let me extend in two directions and I have a line. So a line extends indefinitely in two directions. And there are many ways of designating a line. You can do so by two points of the line. So I can call this line CD. I can call this line L. Notice I've also called it L. I can also just use this notation CD with a line above it. So there's a little bit about a line. Now let's talk about the difference between a line and a ray. A ray is basically part of a line with an endpoint. So the difference between a line and a ray is that a ray is part of a line. Let's designate this UW and let's talk about this. U, there's my endpoint. And there's another point along the ray. This is ray UW. How can I write this down? I can write ray UW, or I can write UW with a ray sign above it. But that is an example of a ray. Now, if I have two rays with a common endpoint, I actually have an angle. So let's just look quickly at an angle. I'll extend from this endpoint U another ray. Maybe I'll call a point here V. And maybe I'll call this small x. And we have an angle. Now, how can we list this angle? We can use this notation for angle. Now, that's not a less than symbol. It's an angle symbol. I can call this angle W, U, V. Or I can call it angle V, U, W. Notice I do put what we call the vertex. U is the vertex in the middle each time when I'm labeling my angle. I can call this angle simply angle U as long as there's no confusion. And there's no confusion here. Or I can call it angle X. Each of these, we know what angle we're talking about. So there's a little bit about angles, lines, points, plane, and space. 